Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Are you sure you're ready? Well, get your paper, get your pad, get your pens, and let's go. She wanna know me, I stay low key, all gas, no brakes, baby, let them hoes sleep. Body on ten, make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one in the more one. So what it's gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep. Is you riding on a team? Got what you need. Baby, won't you keep me company? Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Donielle, but you can call me Donnie B. And here on my channel, you'll basically find all things me. Um, that consists of, you know, some cooking, some cleaning, laundry, natural hair tutorials, family vlogs, you know, like I said, all things me. So make sure you drop down, hit that subscribe button. Also turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out when I post and upload. I promise you're going to love it here. Now that we got that out of the way, let's get into it. All right, so vlogmas starts in a couple days and you're here. Why? Because you're still trying to get those ideas out as to what you want to record. But you know what? I'm here to help you and help you get those ideas out in your videos. So I'm just going to be laying out a couple things in order um, to help you, you know, get organized and give you some great ideas to help your channel grow. I have broken these video ideas up into segments and I am going to start off with the first one. The first one being routines. All right, so there are a lot of routines that you can um, film about. So we have your winter morning routines, your winter nighttime routines. You have a winter shower routine because, you know, your body um, get, tends to get a little drier in the winter time than it does in the summer. So you're probably using different products, aren't you? You know, if you're anything like me, that Vaseline has probably come out of the cabinet because you were a little extra dry. OK, so you want to show people things that you're doing in order to keep your skin moisturized. Um, next is a winter skincare routine. Um, just like your body, your face, you're probably using different moisturizer or different products in order to keep your skin hydrated and looking all fresh and juvenate, rejuvenated. Um, then also a winter hair care routine. Your hair is like your face. It tends to dry out more in the winter time. And then, you know, a pamper routine. What do you do in order to make yourself feel good? All right, so next we're gonna move over to vlogs. In the vlogs, we're gonna do um, look at like a day in the life, basically like if you're a mom, what does your day look like from day from sun up to sundown? And if you're single, this works out for you as well. If you, um, you can do a week in my life, then a maintenance routine, um, then you can do a shop with me. You're you're gonna be out shopping anyway, so you might as well pick up the camera and take it along with you, and then you can do what what i'm going to call a multi-purpose video so you can do a get ready with me for date night so you're taking and walking people through what you're doing in order to get ready for your date and then that's one video in itself and then the next video is actually what occurred on your date what did you do where did you go what did you eat people are nosy they want to know what's going on in your life then you have you know of course the christmas day things that occurred during the christmas day um opening presents and things of that nature so now we have like what I call food and drink section. So then uh, people are curious as to what you are eating. People like to, you know, those muck that bang videos. People always want to see what you're eating. So show people what you're cooking. So like a crock pot meal, you know, a couple meals that you put in a crock pot to, you know, dump and go like soups or stews or things like that. Uh, chilies, broccoli cheese soup, things like that. I know this is YouTube, but people, not everybody is on a TikTok trying by uh tiktok holiday drinks all right so then also your favorite appetizer people are trying to get their menus together so what are some of your favorite appetizers that you would like to share with your audience that's some of your favorite side items um places like starbucks and dunkin donuts and different other places they have like their holiday drinks so you can do a um a video to where you're trying different starbucks drinks and treats and I'm going to move on over to the halls. 
If go if you're going shopping for the winter, show people what you bought. Um, put it on and let them see it. Give them some ideas as well. Since you're going grocery shopping for your Christmas meal, you might as well record it. You go, you can show like your shopping haul. So you've gone shopping for your Christmas decor. People want to know what you purchase. You know, people are nosy, like I said before. <laughs> so what did you purchase? What did you pick up? Whether it is gifts, what did you pick up? What did you pick up to put on your tree? What did you pick up to decorate the rest of your house? Like some sit down videos. So then sit down videos, you have like gifts for him. And then you have gifts for her. And then you could have gifts for the kids. So that's three videos within itself. So you probably did a vision board for 2022, right? So tell people how did you uh, how did you do with the vision board that you that you created? Did you meet your goals? Did you beat your goals? Did you not achieve your goals? What are your plans going into the new year to actually achieve those goals? Just because you did not achieve those goals in 2022 does not mean that the goal is off the table. Um, you can continue to achieve those goals and make that goal even bigger for 2023. Okay, since you can either show people how to wrap Christmas presents or you can have people um, watching you wrap Christmas presents. And this is a good idea or a good time to get your audience um, opportunity to get to know who you are. You can do like a story time while you're wrapping gifts or you can do a, um, a Q&A so people can get to know who you are. You can also create a vision board, sit down and create a vision board, tell people what your what your vision is going into the new year. So another thing is, you know, cleaning, deep, doing some deep cleans. So then you have to clean up after you, you know, after Christmas is over, you got to wash the dishes. Um, if you have company, you have to clean up your guest rooms and things of that nature. So while you're doing these things, pick up the camera and press record. You can do a deep cleaning and organizing your home for the new year. You don't want to take over the clutter into the new year. So fun, festival type things, um, things that you can do alone, do as a couple or do with your kids. If there's an, a Christmas festival in your area uh, and you're going, record that. People like to see, you know, different things that people do in order to celebrate the holidays. You can do gingerbread houses. You can do a gingerbread, com if you're a couple, you can do a gingerbread competition with you and your significant other that would be awesome or um, if you have kids you can decorate um, gingerbread houses with the kids you can do a decorate with me so showing people how you're decorating your home while you're putting up the Christmas tree since you're putting up the Christmas tree turn on your camera so if you're doing some DIY projects um, for your decorations or you're doing some DIY crafting for gifts that will be a great thing to also record and give people ideas so after you've decorated give people a tour give them a tour of the final finished product your tree your kitchen um your entryway or your front porch or things like that the list can go on and on and on there's so many great ideas out there but what i want to challenge you to do is when if you are new to this is not spend too much money in order to um film your vlogmas ideas number one it's going to be so time consuming and you're spending all this money in order to um create these videos and it's not necessary people like to see raw and real content you don't have to spend a whole bunch of money in order to um give people an inside of, of what's going on with you or what's going on in your life also you don't have to make those videos too long go in and look at your analytics what is your average watch time you don't want to overwhelm yourself with editing these extra long videos. So make it short, sweet, and simple to the point. But if you do make a short video, always make it at least eight minutes. I say make it eight minutes. You might not be monetized now, but you may be monetized later. So if you're not monetized now, you're monetized later. If your video is less than eight minutes, you cannot put ads in between your video. And that's a lesson for any of your videos, even outside of Vlogmas. If your video is less than eight minutes, you cannot put ads in between your videos. You can put them at the front and you can put them at the end, but you cannot put them in between. So when you are monetized and you go back and you go and turn on the monetization for the rest of those videos, you're only allowed to put videos, uh, ads at the front and the back if your video is less than eight minutes. I hope that that was um, everything that I told you was something that you can use and you were up and ready and ready to go for this vlog, miss. Please stay tuned to my channel. Now I'm going to try and vlog every day and uh, post a video every day if I don't charge it to my head and not my heart 
um because i really want to do this i'm super duper excited about vlogmas and i hope you are too and i hope that this was all of the motivation that you need and all of the information that you need in order to get your uh vlogmas videos and ideas out there so let's go let's get it thank you for tuning in to another episode of donnie b tv on your way out don't forget to like comment and subscribe until next time enjoy your day